It's a fact of life in many of Canada's biggest cities. Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal. Housing demand exceeding available supply. But it's a growing reality in Halifax too, leaving more people priced out, whether they're looking to buy or rent. So I started out looking at different buildings, just looked them up on Google, find their website and their phone number, call them, see if they have anything, and everybody called me back and said, we got nothing. That's how John Barrett Ogilvy ended up here, in a hotel room. His eight-month lease cost $1,300 a month, including utilities, less than what many Halifax landlords charge. There's no kitchen, but Ogilvy isn't complaining. A concession's probably a good word. Um, I've kind of resigned myself to it. Right? Like I was excited to finally get an apartment and look for a place of my own, and now this has kind of screwed it over, but what can you do? To slow down runaway rent increases, Nova Scotia currently has a cap in place of 2% a year. But the new premier says he plans to remove the cap. It's not the solution, so we really need more housing stock in this province. That's how we'll solve the housing crisis. The price of houses has also escalated, in part from people moving to Nova Scotia during the pandemic. Some to find peace of mind, others hoping to make their dollar go further. But no such luck. I had a property that I had 32 offers on. I mean, that's unheard of. For young Nova Scotians, sky-high prices are a downer. It seems that there is very limited ways or even prospect to like become a homeowner. Some blame the housing crisis for an increase in temporary homeless shelters, like this one that was forcibly removed by Halifax Regional Police last month. The problem is now spilling over into small town Nova Scotia, where employers say housing shortages are part of the reason they can't attract enough workers. We're currently looking at options to buy housing or to build housing. Um, many private businesses locally have already gone that route and have uh, made the investment in employee housing for their businesses. The real estate industry itself is calling for the government to waive the provincial transfer taxes, saving home buyers thousands of dollars. But there's no sign of immediate relief to make finding a decent place to live more affordable. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.